Hey guys, so welcome to our course. So in this course, we will learn about all the basics of PHP. So I'm very excited with going to this course and making this course. Okay, so let's discuss what we will learn in this course. So we'll start with a basic program in PHP and we will discuss some introduction about PHP that we can understand the PHP language better. Okay, so we'll start first of all, we'll start with a basic program that is a uh, PHP simple hello world program, right? So we'll start with this. Okay. So second, we'll see some comments, how we, we can comment and what is the benefit of comments and where we have to put the comments and use the comments that we, we can optimize our code like we can send someone other our code or if someone see our code they, they can understand our code and our code is easy to read okay so that's what we'll learn in the second video and we'll learn many more things about the comments right so uh, comments in php right comment in php okay so we'll learn about this comment in php and then we will discuss about the program language variable okay so if you don't know the variable uh i think you should go and see the video of the variable and how we can use it in php programming language is totally different from other languages uh so uh it's it's going to be a very interest, interesting course right so variable in uh php right variable in php okay so then we'll discuss about the functions how functions work how we can use the functions okay and we can how we can define the functions in in your code right functions in php right okay so then we'll see uh, how we can get the current date and time or if you want to add a uh, time or date into your website so how you can do this okay so we have discussed the basics ab about that okay time and date in php okay so and then we have discussed about read file how we can read files in your local computer or your server how we can read files okay using php okay read file in php okay so this is the content and so why we should why you should learn this okay uh, i mean there's there's hundreds of language right but it's it's the shocking thing because uh in now most of the website built in php right more than 80 percent website use php nowadays so you should you if you are in web development or if you want to learn web development you should learn the php okay so let's see you in the course okay so i have i have do a mistake on there right so don't worry and uh i i'm going to close the video on there let's see you in the course hi so welcome to the first video of our course so basically this course is based on the php okay so let's first discuss why we should learn php okay so uh most of the application that we use in daily life is built on php okay so if you are in web development so you should learn php okay so in this video let's let's write a simple program in php okay so we can we can start so for this we went a uh, compiler okay php compiler and for this uh we will find the online compiler that can we can interpret our php code and get results okay so first open a browser and you can find a php compiler okay so let me search first php compiler online okay Okay, so we'll run on there. Pizza.io. Okay. So let's close. 
Okay. So I think you can see. So there we'll write our code. This is main.php. You can open a file like and rename this like uh okay hello world hello world dot php okay dot php okay, we can we can also write the code in main dot php but i will just create a new file okay we have created a new file and make sure your php code is uh, i mean your php file extension must be php okay so let's see how we can write the code okay so let, let me zoom in okay i think you can you can see so it's this uh, most likely html for starting tag okay so let's okay let's close this okay so you have to what you have to do you have to enter the starting tag and the closing tag okay so then you have to put question mark and there you have to type php and this okay so we have entered our the php tag so uh, our computer our server or our device will know that this is a php code and in php tag what you will write it will interpret the code okay so in there let's print something okay let's print hello world okay so how you can print okay so for print you have to give the command echo okay echo okay it's a php function okay echo then double put and you have to type whatever you want okay so like hello well okay we have done this and now we can run okay let's run Okay, so what we have got, let me zoom out. So I think I think you can see there is output hello world. It gives us hello world. Okay. Uh, also you can you can end this with uh, this sign, uh, whatever it called. Okay. It's, it's a standard format of PHP. Okay. If you run this, it will give the same output. Okay. It it has given the same output, but also you can run without it. Okay also you can try whatever you want like uh, simple program okay let's run it it will print simple program so this is this is how you can print something or write something okay in php so wait for the next video uh, thanks hi so welcome to the second video of the course so uh, in this video, we'll learn about the comment, comment in PHP. So we'll learn about both a single line comment and double line comment. Okay. I mean, multi line comment. We'll see uh, examples of the single line comment. Also, we'll see examples of the multi line comments. Okay. So let's see. We, we already know how to print something or how to write a single, pro, a simple program in PHP. So let's write it and let's see some example of the single line comment and the double line comment. Okay. So let me write it PHP and echo something. Echo mm, our program from was run successfully. Okay, our program was run successfully. It printed, so that's mean our program is successfully run. Okay, it is it's printing. Okay, so let's see how we can use the comments. Okay, so let's see, let's say I have to write a comment on there. So basically, why we use the comment? It's, it will I we will use it because of um, let's let's think uh, I have write a code. So maybe you will don't understand why I write a function or I have write. Uh, this code or a, another code. So that's why to make it simple, we use the comments. Okay. So that other program or programmer also know that why, why this code is, but, and uh, what is the use of this code. So that's why we use the comments in the program. Okay. 
So let's see how we can use the comments. So uh, first of all, uh, we can use this hash, okay? This. Uh, so, and we can write anything in there, like anything or like this is single line comment. Okay, so this, this is commented already. It will not uh, run by the program, okay? Run by the interpreter. Uh, we can also use this, like, okay? This is another full of <coughs> single line comment. If you run this, okay, it it also <coughs> not run this line. Okay, so this this two is example of the single line comment. And let's see how we can use the multi line comment. Sometimes we have to use like the five line or 10 line comment. So we can comment on the every single line, starting off every single line. So what we can use, we can use this and start, and we can use this. This is multi line comment. And let's copy it. We can paste it there, 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 like four or five times. So this is multi-line. We can run this and it will not show anything because this this is the multi-line comment. This is this is starting and this is ending. So the all the lines are commented on this program. Okay. So I hope you understand. And if you have any problem, you can uh, replay this, this video and you can see it again so that you can understand better. Okay. So let's see in the next video. Hi, so welcome to uh, another video of our course. Okay, so in this video, we're going to learn about the variable in PHP. So we have already renamed our file, uh, file.php because we are using the variables. Okay, so uh, this is this is not requirement, but uh, for uh, our is uh, easy to understand. We we have named the file variable of PHP and the var.php. Okay, so let's discuss what is variable and how we can use it. So basically, variable is three types in PHP. On it, one is string, one is integer, or one is sort. Okay, so let's see what is this. Like if you write something like name, name, my name, your name, like anything. Okay, so these are the value of a string. Okay. So what is integer type of value? So if you write a number like 10, 100, 1000, so this is a integer value, okay? So what is float? So float is like if you write 10.5 uh, or 10.1 or like 100.9. So this is a float type of value. So let's see how we can define the variables in in php okay let's so let's write a simple word of php okay so we have we have write it so how we can define the variable let's see so for this we have to um start the variable with the dollar sign that's mean we are saying to the interpreter this is a variable take is it is as a variable input okay so uh let's write uh var one so this is a variable you can use any name and variable one we're going to string okay hello okay hello okay so this is the end of our <clears throat> uh string variable so for string type of value you have to use this two string this is um and this okay and let's see other types of variable. Uh, so dollar sign var two, sorry, var two equal uh, like 10. Okay. So this is a integer type of value. So if we write var three, uh, sorry, uh, 
30. So let's give it input as a slot, like 10.1. Okay, so if you run it, it will give you nothing. Okay, because we're not printing, we are just defining this is a variable. We have not done any work with this variable. We have to, we have just sent to the interpreter, like store it is it as a variable. Okay. So let's see how we can print it. So uh, I think you, you, have, you have remember how we can print something. So let's let's use the echo function, okay? Echo. And what we can do, uh, we can call the variable one. Sorry, we have to write the dollar sign. Dollar sign, variable one. And close it. So let's see what we we can do. Okay. So it's print hello. So why this is okay? So first of all, we have defined a variable one equal hello. So we have printed this. We have echo this this value from there, and it's printed the hello, the value of variable one. <clears throat> so let's print the variable two and variable three let me copy it and paste it okay and change it to variable two and variable three so i i think you know how what's what's going on there i think you can see this now so uh this is value of variable one and this is value of variable two and this is value of variable three so we have a call there that print variable one value first and then print variable two value and then print variable three value okay so let's run and let's see what happened okay so we have get some good results so let me explain what is this so you know, what the program is do it's print first hello and then it's printed are uh, the 10 and then it's printed the 10.2 like this okay so why no break in there? So if you are you have write code in S code in HTML, so you have faced the same problem. So we have to use a break function like okay. Let me show you. Echo break. Sorry. Beer and close. So it's it's just what's doing. It's doing. It's just printing this. But uh, it's it's because of it's not a HTML file. If it is a HTML file, it will definitely uh, run this as a break, and we can we can comment. I mean, we can break this line one by one. Okay, so let me close this one and let's cut it and let's show you one by one for now because we have to create html file and with html code we have to run this so i'm not going to making this so much complicated i will complete all the basic things one by one that you have a, a good fundamentals on php okay so let me run it and explain it one by one so it's printing 10 so as I told you, variable two value is 10. And if we run the uh, variable three, okay. So as you can see, variable three is a float value. Okay, and it's an integer value. And if we run this, it will show you 10.2. Okay, so that's all for this video. Let's meet in the next video. Hi, so welcome to another video of our course. So in this video, we're going to learn about the function in PHP. So we'll see how we can define a function or how we can create a function. Okay, so let me first of all, rename the file. Okay, function.php, you can make it any. And we have to complete the basic PHP code. Okay, starting PHP. Uh, 
And now the question is how we can define a function. Okay, so for this you have to call the sorry function. Okay, so where it is, and we have to give a name of function. Like we are we are giving our function name like any name. Okay. Okay, so we have created our first function and this is called any name. Okay, so basically this is our function and we have to put something in our function. Okay, so let's put something. Okay, so there we'll put something like, okay. Echo. So, this is our function okay so our function is any name and we have stored this data into our pitch function okay so if we run this what will happen nothing will happen okay okay so we have got a error in uh line number five I think, okay. Uh, function name. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. What's, what's, what's happening on there? I got it. Uh, so let, let me complete it. So our function is any name. Okay, so let, let me call the function, okay? Any name. It's a local function, uh, then, okay. So we have call our function. So let's let's run it and let's see what, what happened. So it's showing uh, line number five. There is some kind of error in line number five. So I, I don't think there is any error. Uh, so let me check my code again. Okay. There should not anything. Uh, so we have defined the function, any name, and we have put the data. Okay. So, okay. It, sh it should run. Okay. So our data is, I mean, our code is run successfully. So why the problem was happening? Okay. So I, I just reviewing the course, I will, I will show you everything in details, okay? So here is we start our PHP code and we have defined a function called any name and we have put the data, but we have, we did not complete the, uh, complete the input like this. We did not put this, okay? So, so that's why we are getting an error in line number five. So, and, what what happened on there we have called the any name function like this function and the function was print this this value okay this is our our function okay if we run this you will get a success message and this is our result okay so that's how you can you can call a function you can call it multiple time yes Okay, you can call it multiple time. You have to put a break on there um, and it's print from next line. So that's all for this video. And let's see you in the next video. Hey guys, so welcome to another video in our course. So in this video, we are going to learn about, uh, about how we can read a file in PHP. Okay, so using PHP, we are going to read a file. So let's let's rename our file name. So read file dot php. Okay, and start with the PHP code, PHP, and now we can write our code. Okay, so we want to read a file. So first of all, we have to create a file on your server or or your local PC. So I'm going to going to create a file on there. So test file dot txt sorry test file dot txt you can give any name or any extension 
this is our text file okay so this is the file and this is our file content so we are going to read this using our php function right okay i mean read file function php read file function and so first of all we have to do echo that it will print and echo our read file sorry read file and we have to put a string and the file name that is just file dot txt and we have to end the line okay so it's still giving us some kind of error okay let let me close it so i think that there is some kind of problem so i think uh, everything is uh, going right on there so we have echo the read file and then put the read file function and in read file function we have call our file test file dot php okay so let me run it and it's it's found the error so let me refresh the page i think there, there can be some kind of problem okay so okay let's run it and see it's successful Learn. so what what is problem on there what's happening because of we, we are uh coding uh, for a long time on this window so our session was expired okay so let's create a file called test file txt oh sorry i have opened a new tab okay test file.txt okay and put the content test file okay so let me run it and let's see what we, we can see okay so we're getting this is our test file to one okay so i think this this is kind of this kind of random value uh okay so main.php and echo read file okay so it's basically showing the uh i, I mean length it's showing the length maybe uh so let's find out how we can fix it right mm, this is our test file and i don't know why it's giving at, at 23 on there okay let's let's put a, a string on the file because it's, it's showing us the wrong results okay okay i think this this is uh, this is uh uh counting the length of the file size okay it's also showing the length of the file size so this, this is not a big issue we have um, write the program on there and read our file and uh, we have to find out how to remove this length because we don't run that and uh, this, this is all for the video and you can try it by your own you can also put it into a function right and try it okay so this is all for the video hi so welcome to the another video of our course so in this video we are going to see uh, how we can get the date the current date in php okay so let's see how we can do this we can also try it with uh, with the functions right okay so let's start so first of all we have to start with the php sorry uh, php so what we can do now we have to get the date so we are we hope we can print like uh today date is uh something like today dates okay so let's echo this okay so echo um, today date is um so we have to 
add their other date so date uh, so after giving date we have to put a string and uh, we have to give how which format we want the date okay so like first we want year and then month then day okay so i think everything is clear down there okay so it's done so it's showing us today date is this okay so we can also show it another format like this like this okay oh okay so here is the output i think you can see this we can also uh use this okay so th this you can see how uh, we can also use their uh date and year sorry year okay you can change this value according to your need you can also change this so let me explain what's happening on there so we have used the php code and we are printing something like you know this how it could work so we are printing something so what we are printing we give there a string today date is so it's it will print to print today date is and it will add something else on there okay it's it's called called uh, concatenation but don't make it complicated i'm just uh, explaining you in easy words okay so forgot about that so it's printed the today date is okay so and today date is we have to find the date so it's adding the date okay so we have to write the date and which format we want okay so there is a bracket and in string we have give this which format we want and it printed for us okay so that's how the program is working and now try it with the function right so now uh, what should we call our function name so let's let let's find out first define a function okay define a normal function so what will give our function name like uh function for date okay so let me copy it because it's a big name a uh, function for date right okay so this is our function name and okay close it so our function name is this and we are storing this data into our functions and okay i think we have to close it right yeah we have to close it and then we can give the function on there and let's run let's see what happened on there okay it successfully run uh so uh, this is the function we have get right if you uh, enter the function again again three times we will get three results like this okay you can get the three lines because uh, uh you already know we are storing the data on there on on this function what we are storing this data so what is this this is basically uh this line okay so we are printing this three times so there we are giving getting output three times okay so i hope you understand and let's see you in the next video